time for Thirsty Thursday, a savory cocktail made with tomato juice, vodka, and all kinds of fun spices and toppings is taking its day in the spotlight. Yeah, sometimes it's just as much about the food as it is the drink oh, itself. Yeah. The Bloody Mary Festival returns to the Red on Salmon Saturday, June 10th. So you'll get to sip and savor those recipes from local restaurants, all vying for that special title. And Cor Hartland joining us live now from one of the partic participating spots, Screen Door in the Pearl District. Going to show us what they're bringing to the table. I know so good. Such a big fan. Cor, where do they make it up here? The, what, what's, what's different about their Bloody Mary? Well, we're going to show you that in just a minute here, what's different about the Bloody Mary. What's beautiful about the Bloody Mary, as we all know, Kate Ray and I from Screen Door right here, is that it's kind of like a salad in a glass yes. with a little alcohol. Healthy. Got a lot of things in it that are good for you, right? <laughs> Absolutely, all the way. And even a little vodka once in a while kind of soothes the system, kind of chills it out a little bit. Perfect right? for first thing in the morning. I like your style. You and I get along just fine. Um, <laughs> tell me a little bit. Now, there's going to be 16... Uh, Portland area restaurants taking part in the Bloody Mary Festival. This is next weekend. You get yourself a ticket, you go into the red, you sample all the Bloody Marys if you want, you vote on the best one, and you crown a king or queen of Bloody Marys in the Portland area. Tell me about your Bloody Mary, what makes it unique, and, and all the rest of that. Yeah, so we are a southern restaurant, so our Bloody Mary is very Creole inspired. Mm -hmm. um, lots of good spices in there. Obviously, a good tomato base is the key. Um, we have a great rim. Uh, the this, and this is kind of this to me. This is kind of the uh, yeah, this is the key. most important thing right it there. Absolutely is a lot of things. Important. Right, it's and, the first taste. Yeah. And this is, I imagine, this is a proprietary spice mix that you can't tell me exactly mix. what's in it. I would never. No, I can't divulge secrets. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good Creole spice. It's a, the, a good intro into the rest of the Bloody Mary. Um, gives you that first kind of pop and spice right off the bat. Uh, so that's the most important part in the actual Bloody Mary itself is tomato puree, tomato paste, um, lots of spices, smoked paprika, pe paprika, wow, that was hard to say. Pe paprika, paprika um, cayenne, horseradish, Worcestershire. Worcestershire, yes, thank you. I always have a hard time saying that word as well. Lots of good stuff. Really packs a punch, gives good flavor first thing in the morning. Always a good way to go. Let's put it together. All this right. is what they'll be serving. And they, uh, go ahead, you can work while I talk. Okay. I don't, that's usually how, what happens. Other people work while I talk. That's what I've become good at. <laughs> anyway, there's the uh, the topper on there too. Now that's a pickled. What is that? Pickled okra, pickled okra. there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pickled and an okra olive. and an olive. Absolutely. The Pickle mix comes pre-mixed, so all the good things that she talked about are pre-mixed into the mix there, and you put it in the glass, and she will successfully shake it. Hopefully this time. Hopefully this time. There you go. So that's the stuff right there. You don't want to forget that. Nope, that's the most important part. All right. Well, I don't know. The vodka is probably the most important part. I like your. The more and more I know about you, the more I like about you. Vodka is the most important part. There you go. Right in Dump there, right dump in there. it in. Good stuff. Give it a little right. squeeze. That on top. All right. And then dig in. Now look at that. I'm not supposed to drink on television, <laughs> but I would love to drink after television. I mean, once we cut. That <laughs> is a Bloody Mary right there with all the savory, the tangy, Cajun Creoleness mm -hmm. on the rim of the glass there and all the tomatoey stuff there. That looks just absolutely delicious. Mm. Mm. Yes, it does. Uh, if you are just tuning in, and you haven't been paying attention, this is next weekend at the Red. Get a ticket, go around there. You feel somehow, Emily and uh, Travis, I feel a little bit less guilty about drinking when I drink Bloody Marys. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's all the major so food groups, really. Them, well, we were right? talking about it earlier. Travis said it's a, you can't, like, chug a blood. I mean, you could, but, like, ugh. you, you got to drink it a little slower, yeah. right? So you got to savor you it. You slow down, you savor it a little bit. You got right. the veggies in there. It's good for you. Right. Ish. Yeah I, yeah, I I check all those boxes. That's right. all perfect. Yeah, I yeah. like it. See, Look, and I and I agree with Kate. It's about the vodka, but it's also about the mix. So it is. Yeah, I'll be I'll be eager for your review, core on that that house made Bloody Mary. Yeah, mix. My, I don't know if my mouth was watering over the garnish or the drink itself, mm -hmm. but I was like, mm, looks good. Good, core. Thank you. That's mm -hmm. gonna be a lot of fun.